Catching guns before they enter your child's school. Will a new plan catch them all? It is the big question we heard tonight. Hello, everybody, and thanks for joining us. I'm Doug Prophet. You may remember to call to add metal detectors in JCPS. Those aren't in this plan. WHS 1119's Taylor Woods is here right now to show us the details. So what did you see tonight, Taylor? Well, Doug, tonight school board members discussed the design of an artificial intelligence system. It's designed to detect guns on students. They showed us how it would work if the school board votes for it and approves the cost. Finding guns before they enter your child's school. JCPS looking over a plan for a weapon detection system. Students are walking through with all of those things on. <laughs> Shoes, jewelry, belts, my backpack, my purse, my coat. They are not proposing metal detectors, saying they would take more time and would require students to take items off. That is a very different scenario than walking through, having everything looked through every day for multiple reasons. Time is a huge one. The system using artificial intelligence is designed to detect guns or explosives. The items would show up right here. Secondary screening uh, is where the second monitor is set up and the, the individual working at that station knows exactly what to look for. And the system isn't an autopilot. It needs to be manned with staff members to get students through the line. In both options, uh, each device would take at, at minimum three people uh, to, uh, to, to, in order to staff the device. One of the positions would be an armed officer at all times. Uh, an on-site armed officer would have to assist with the, uh, if there's a suspected weapon, we do that right now, anytime there's a su suspected weapon. Board members like Dr. Corey Shull want the community to listen. Begging this community and this state to do something about the proliferation of guns on our streets, it is unacceptable. Some board members even asking the community to help reduce students from having access to guns. We as a school district are not going to be able to address the issue of weapons in our schools until the community decides that they want to help support us by keeping weapons away from children in the first place. Now, if the proposal is approved, this system could be implemented in some high schools as early as fall 2023 semester, followed by remaining high schools in spring of 2024. In studio, I'm Taylor Woods for the WHAS 11 night team on your side.